our department uh, and encompasses both anesthesia, pain and critical care and we have both academic and clinical components to the department. Uh, mostly the academics to do with research, training, developing guidelines, uh, and generally coming up with academic programs that will benefit uh, different doctors in the region. And then the clinical aspect of it is to do with providing clinical services in the hospital, in the teaching hospital, which we also use as our training facility. The program takes four years, which entails both clinical and non-clinical uh, aspects of training. The non-clinical aspects is essentially the basic sciences that then will um, underpin the, the clinical training years, but in such a way that it's integrated. For example, in, in the first year of training, there are basic sciences lectures which include physiology, pharmacology, biochemistry, anatomy and at the same time we introduce our trainees to the clinical aspects of anesthesia uh, which is essentially anesthesia for general surgery and maybe preoperative assessment of patients who require surgery and subsequently in the second year they go into more of specialized rotations so we deal with obstetric anesthesia we deal with day surgery anesthesia a bit of ENT and that graduates into third year and third year again we continue subspecialization so you have maxillofacial pediatrics and then there's a three-month elective term then finally we have the fourth year which has three core rotations uh, that is neurosurgery cardiovascular cardiothoracic surgery and uh, critical care and at the end of the four years you do the final exams and if you are successful then you graduate with an MMED. the only other exam that we do are in second year which is now the part one exams that examine the basic sciences. The main benefit of, of training uh, in our program is we are able to look at anesthesia practice, both anesthesia, critical care and pain medicine, both from the global perspective and also from the local regional perspective in the sense that we equip our graduates with the ability to work anywhere in the world. In terms of competencies we have three broad ones so we have the knowledge aspect we have the skills aspect and we have the professionalism aspect so those are the three broad competencies that we evaluate and we emphasize our training on of course if you go further down then each of those is subdivided into multiple other components so the knowledge component has very many aspects both the basic sciences and the clinical sciences and the practical knowledge that you need to be able to practice anesthesia, critical care, and pain medicine at the same time. Um, the, the skills component then is what you can do hands-on because anesthesia is a very practical uh, specialty. So the clinical component of it is, is fairly big. And then the professionalism aspect is even bigger because we deal with all the other specialties of medicine in our everyday work. So you have to learn how to interact with colleagues from all aspects of, of clinical medicine. In terms of assessment, so what we have is we have formative assessment and we have summative assessment. So formative is what we do every day. Because we, are, we, we have uh, our faculty to student ratio is literally more than one to one. So we have more faculty than trainees. So each trainee at any given time is paired up with only one faculty during their clinical practice you are given real-time feedback on what you need to do better what you need to improve on what you have done well and all that and then at the end of that we have summative assessment which mostly comes at the end of the second year as part one exams and that has both the written component and the clinical component of the exam and then the clinical ones we have the OSCEs which essentially are objective structured clinical exams and then in part two, we have the same setup for the exams, but in addition to that, you have to write a dissertation, which is supposed to be an original idea that you've generated, and you've translated that into research, and you've carried out the research and come up with a, a final write-up that then is assessed as part of your final summative assessment in the program.